hey guys welcome back to my channel so um i said i was going to try and make a video every week of my journey of being a new army wife um so here's the beginning um okay so like y'all already know henry left on tuesday may 7th that's when he got on the plane and he left and he got to the airport and he was able to talk to me a little bit before he left and then he actually left the airport at seven ish he was supposed to leave a little earlier than that but it kept getting pushed back so he left at the airport at seven ish and then he texted me at like 10 ish that same day that he landed and that's all i heard from him that night and then the next day he texted me around 7 30 a.m I have my notes on this side, so if you keep seeing me looking that way, that's why. Um, but he texted me the next day at around 7 a.m. And um, he had told me that he has had like zero sleep. And he hadn't slept since he got off the plane. Because I think he slept a little bit on the plane. But he hadn't slept since he got off. And then um, he was able to text me a little bit more here and there during the day. And he kept telling me how he like hadn't slept and so he really didn't sleep for probably over 24 hours which blows my mind but um so when he got there he you know was like doing insurance paperwork and stuff like that and then they shaved his head and they gave him i'm pretty sure some like pt clothes to wear um so just like an army shirt and i don't know shorts or something i don't know i don't know what they were but um so that's what they did then and then so that was wednesday when he um was doing all the paperwork and all that stuff and um he's actually been able to text me and call me here and there throughout the whole week so from tuesday up until last night which last night is was sunday the 12th so from the 7th to the 12th he was able to text and call me like every now and then here and there or whatever whenever he had like downtime i guess so i feel like i was super spoiled last week so what they call this week is reception and it's pretty much like week zero basic training is actually nine weeks and um plus seven to ten days of reception so they call the reception time week zero so during week zero or reception um it depends on their drill sergeant but most of the time they're able to text or call you whenever they have downtime so that was really nice it was so nice to be able to text him and and um call him and he was even able to facetime me once so that he could see the boys and they could see him but today is the 13th and last night he told me his last goodbye in a text message and um he told me that he had to wake up at i think three or four in the morning they have to wake up early every single day it's crazy um three or four in the morning saying that he so he had to wake up at 3 or 4 in the morning to, I guess, pack up and get ready to leave to go to actual basic training. Which, I mean, it's in the same exact same area. It's in the same post. So it's not like they had to travel far. But um, once they leave and when they get to the actual basic training, so they transition from reception into basic training, that's when you get your scripted call. And your scripted call, it can really vary between soldiers because it just depends on their drill sergeant. So some people may call whoever and it's like a very strict script that they have to read. So it's, hi, I'm here, I'm safe, here's my address, blah, 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 goodbye. And that's it. Um... So that's what I was, I mean, that's what I was, you know, 
thinking was gonna happen and um, today I've been waiting because today he transitioned into basic training so I knew I was gonna get the call today um, so I was waiting all day I'm even on some Facebook um, pages and a lot of the wives and moms had said that they got their call around like one one noon or one but for us in Texas we're a um they I'm trying to just we are an hour behind them and they're an hour ahead of us so when it's when it's one o'clock here it's two o'clock there so um a lot of them are getting calls from like around like uh one to two o'clock and I hadn't gotten anything yet and I was like oh my goodness like come on why aren't you why aren't you calling me I mean I, I didn't text him or anything but in my hat in my head I was like why aren't you calling me oh my gosh oh my gosh and I was at work and I was I'm a teacher so I was at work and I I wasn't on my phone but I did have my phone near me Th thankfully I have my watch so it lets me know if I get calls but I have to have it near me so I had my phone near me and then I had a little um notebook and a pen the whole day like i literally held a notebook and a pen with me the whole entire day just in case he was going to call me and i had to write it down real quick um but he ended up not even calling me until six o'clock so seven o'clock his time six my time so um i was already home made dinner for the boys and then he finally called but um kind of worked out because I didn't want to be stressed when he called me and stuff and I didn't want to be like teaching and have to stop teaching real quick to listen but he told me on the phone that he only had two minutes to talk or not even to talk just to use his phone so he talked to me for about a minute and he told me that he texted me like his address and all that so I have all of his address information in a text message which is, which is perfect so now like i didn't even have to worry about bringing a paper or pencil anywhere because he just texted it to me so i have all that and then i think he called his mom after he called me to talk to her for as much longer as he had i guess but yeah so i got to say we got to say i love you to each other one more time and I have no idea when he's gonna call me again. So that sucks, but I'll be all right. I mean, every day I cry here and there, it's really quick and then I suck it up and I'm good. It's nine weeks, I can do it. And um, he texted me last night, a really sweet message and I screenshotted it and saved it. But he told me to be strong and take care of the boys and that he loved me and other stuff. But I just have to remember those words, be strong, be strong, be strong. Because I can be strong and I can do it. Um, and he didn't seem like worried or scared or anything while he was on the phone with me. He said that he, he knows he's going to like do awesome and I'm, I'm just so proud of him. I'm so excited. Um... But that's pretty much what's happened to me this past week. Um, so I've been able to talk to him here and there. And then today was like the official last day of me being able to talk to him. Today's Monday the 13th. So um, tomorrow, when this probably will go up, is the um, like official first week. Well, my battery just died. I wasn't even... Wasn't even paying attention to the battery light and I had to run all the way down to my car come get it or come get my other battery and come all the way back up three flights of stairs and I'm pregnant so that was hard so let me catch my breath real quick okay anyways what was I saying um Tomorrow's Tuesday, May 14th, so tomorrow officially starts, 
or officially makes it one week since he's been gone. Um, and today starts his official week, first week of basic training. So this week um, is the start of the red phase. There's three phases. There's red, white, and blue. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm like so out of breath. Red, white, and blue. And uh, the red phase is just, I, I mean, I don't really know a whole bunch about it, but um, this week he's just going to be kind of just transitioning into basic training. Um, going to start learning the ropes, you know, getting yelled at a lot by his um, trainers, trainers, drill sergeants. I don't know why I said trainers. Um, and yeah, and then I think next week we'll start, of course, the second week and that is the, what was it called? It was the something tower. I don't know. On my Facebook page, it tells me like what they do each week. But anyways, this week is nothing really to worry about. Henry did not seem worried at all. But anyways, um, this whole week, reception, it went by so fast, like so fast. I can't believe it's already been a week since he's been gone. Um, it could also just feel like that just because I've been talking to him still. Like I haven't like officially stopped talking to him until today. But um, I'm thinking if, if all the weeks go this well and go this quickly, then um, we should be good. Um, nine more of these and we're good. Oh. So I've already started writing um, writing to him and I was gonna send my first five letters out today but I didn't get his darn address until six o'clock. So the sun's going down and that's what's using my light or that's what I'm using for light. I need to invest in a ring light. But anyways, the sun's going down pretty quickly so I need to finish this. Anyways, um, I've already written every single day since he's been officially gone. So today we'll make my sixth day of writing him and I will send those out tomorrow now that I have his address. I don't know how long it's going to take for it to get to him. I'm hoping not too long but then again I think they also um, keep their letters for a few weeks which kind of sucks but it'll be alright. Um, he'll get them all at once I guess but I am writing every single day. Um, I mean you don't have to do that that's too much for you don't but I tell him about my day or I have every sin every single time I come home I'm always telling him what's going on what happened in my day and now I can't tell him so my outlet is writing so I'm gonna write all the time every single day and I suggest that you write to him too because or her um, because that's all the can that's all they get they all they only get writing and or letters and um I feel like they're I mean I'm sure they're friends with people over there but I'm sure it still gets lonely that they don't get to talk to their family. So I'm gonna be writing a lot. I also have a um I also am going to make a uh le little letter box. I haven't made it yet, so I'll show you all that next week's video. But I'm going to make a letter box, and I'm going to keep all the letters that he sends me in the letter box. And I'm going to make it really cute. I'll let you know what it looks like next week. But it's it's going to be really fun to do, and it just gives me something to do. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I left out. Um... I mean, that's all that really happened besides, you know, what he's told me. Like, they have to do push-ups all the time. When they eat, they have to eat in five minutes or less. Like, they literally have to scarf down huge meals. Like, he told me all this food that they, they get to eat, but they have to eat it in five minutes or less. And, like, it's crazy. Um, what else? I mean, it could all be different at, like, actual basic training, but... Um, that's pretty much all he was, <laughs> they really told me. Um, so, yeah, that's what's been going on. 
Oh, and yesterday was Mother's Day, and uh, I did get to talk to him, you know, a, a good amount because it was his last day, so he had a lot of downtime. But he actually ordered this necklace, and it's so, so sweet. Okay, so... It's not focusing, but it says forever in my heart. And then the back, oh. The back is, <laughs> it's not focusing, it's too small. Is two little linked hearts and it's a locket. So the inside has a picture of us at our wedding and then a picture of him and the boys. I mean, it doesn't have the third boy, obviously, but um, oh, I love it so much. Um, I had another necklace that he gave me when we were only dating for like three months that I've been wearing since then. Um, but I've officially retired that one for this one. And I'm so obsessed with it. Whenever I like, I don't know, feel sad or miss him or just need some comfort. I just like hold it. I know that sounds so corny, but <laughs> I just love it. But yeah, he got it for me for Mother's Day and it was so extremely sweet. And yeah, I miss him a lot and I'm gonna continue to miss him a lot. But this week went by fast. So hopefully the rest of the nine weeks flies by and um I am starting to try and figure out like hotel or not really hotels just transportation or ways or what I'm gonna do in order to get to his graduation um because a lot of his family is going and we all kind of want to like coordinate together and go together so that's the first stressful thing I'm trying to figure out right now and then um, hopefully, hopefully next week I can talk to you about the letterbox and the deers packet. If you don't know what the deers packet is, I will let you know in the next video. But um, that's pretty much all that's happened this week. I got to talk to him because he was in reception, um, but now he's gone. So again. Write, 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 write as much as you can to, to whomever is um, going through this. And um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope it was a little bit insightful. And if you have any comments or questions or anything, just comment down below um, or DM me. All my social media accounts are in the description box. And I will see you all next week for week two of the Army Wife Diaries.